Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom ACL workshop. And in today's workshop, I'll be answering one of my users' questions that someone posted in the comment section of a, of a previous video. And their question was, essentially, how do I get data from a particular field but the next record? So right now here, this is the function I'm going to show you. The easiest one to do it is to use this function called rec offset. And so the way I'm going to do it is, essentially, you're going to use this function called you're going to use define field, and say for example, I want to get the the higher end of the confidence interval of the next record. So, for example, I want to get CT PCT ninety confidence interval upper next. I'm call it that computed, and all you're going to do here is you're going to use this function called rec offset, and then you're going to let, put the name of the field. And they're going to indicate which record do you want. Do you want the next record, which would be positive, positive one? Do you want the two records from now, which would be two? Do you want the previous record, which would be negative one? Or do you want the record minus two? And you can use a whole bunch of different combinations. So we do that. And then I'm going to add this field here. And then there you go. Now you have the record from the next one. The only way, the only time it's going to screw up is at the very bottom because there is no record. And then you can essentially do the same thing with the previous record. So here I'm going to, I'm going to go, instead of calling it next, I'm going to call it previous. And I'm just going to go minus one. And we're going to be able to contrast that very easily. So you'll see here, it looks uh, at the bottom, it's pulling the previous record. And then you'll see at the top, it's zero right here. So really useful function. There's lots of examples of where you use it. It does tend to get slow if you use it as a functional conditional computation. Uh, but it is a useful technique if you want to do this type of analysis or pull records from the previous record for, for whatever reason. And there's a number of different procedures or parameters that you could apply it. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.